In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add pages to your website and then how to edit your basic page settings so that people can add um, attachments and or comments. So to get to where I'm at here, I would have gone to sites.google.com, logged in with my WCPS username and password, and then selected the website that I wanted to work on from my list of websites. Um, in order to add a page, you simply click on the page plus sign here in the top corner. Once you click that, it's going to bring up uh, a, a screen for you to um, add some details about your page. So I'm going to just call this page one for simplicity. Um, you can choose what type of template you would like to use. So there are some that are already done for you. And um, I'll show you how to save a page as a template a little later, but this is how you um, would, would select a template that you have already saved. Um, the next thing that you need to decide is where you want your page to go. So is your page going to be equal with the home page or do you want it to go underneath the home page? So I'm going to put the page at the top level and then I'm going to click create. Once I click create and this, the page is, um, is made, you'll notice that along the left side I now have the home page and page one. I'm going to show you how to actually edit the page itself um, in the next tutorial, so for right now I'm just going to hit save. Now let's say that I wanted to add a page, like a sub page under page one. Again, I go to create page, and this is going to be page one A. If you were thinking of um, a bulleted list, it would kind of come underneath a page one. So this could be, um, for instance, if you were doing a teacher or a class site, it could be homework resources, and then you might have a sub page for math and a sub page for reading or something like that. Um, so now I'm going to, whenever I select the location, I'm going to put it under page one by clicking here. I could choose a different location and put it under the home page if I wanted to, um, and to do that, you just click the down arrow beside cho choose a different location. Now I'm going to create the page. And once it's done, you'll notice that I now have a home page, I have page one, and then I have page one A. So again, I'm just going to hit save for now. Now, um, one of the things, the options that you have is to allow people to make comments or to add files um, to your page or for yourself to do that as well. If you wanted to turn this off, you click on the gear box up here in the top right corner for more actions, and then you go to page settings. And under page settings, you have four different checkable um, choices. You can show the page title or uncheck that if you don't want it to show. Show the links to sub pages again or uncheck that if you if not. And then allow attachments and allow comments. So if I uncheck those box, this add files and add comments on the web page itself would disappear. You can also insert a page description if you would like to. Um, and then you can change the page URL if you feel like that's necessary. If you wanted to change this to a different template, once you've already created the page, you can also do that here by clicking change. So I'm going to save this. <clears throat> and now you see that the add comments and the add um, attachments part is gone. Up next, I'm going to show you how to actually edit each web page, including um, fonts and different things like that, as well as inserting files and Google um, documents.